Today's read aloud is about Sam, who is a quiet little boy who hates show and tell. Just thinking about it makes his stomach hurt. Sam must find a way to conquer his fear of show and tell. Too Shy for Show and Tell Written by Beth Bracken Illustrated by Jennifer Bell Sam was a quiet boy. Nobody knew much about him. Sam loved trucks, but nobody knew that. Sam's favorite food was chocolate cake, but nobody knew that. Sam thought dogs were the best animals in the world, but nobody knew that either. The only thing that people knew about Sam was that he didn't talk much. And Sam really didn't like talking in front of people, which is why Sam hated show and tell. On Wednesday, Miss Emily told the class that show and tell would be on Friday. Sam spent most of Thursday worrying. He had a great thing to bring for show and tell, but he was scared. On Friday, Sam didn't get out of bed. My tummy hurts. He lied. You're fine, and you need to go to school today, his mom said. At school, Sam told Miss Emily he'd forgotten about show and tell. I didn't bring anything, he said, but that wasn't true. His perfect show and tell thing was in his backpack. That's okay, Miss Emily said. You can just tell the class about the thing you forgot at home. Sam was terrified. He didn't want to talk in front of everyone. The thought of it made his tummy hurt really, really bad. He imagined that he'd say something dumb. Or that he'd mess up his word. Or that he'd faint. Or that he'd cry. Sam watched the other kids show their show-and-tell things. David showed some socks as Grandma had knitted him. Everyone clapped when he was done. Helena showed a new doll she got for her birthday. Everyone clapped when she was done. Otto showed a cool leaf that he found on the way to school. Otto said weef instead of leaf, but nobody seemed to notice. And everyone clapped when he was done. Then it was Sam's turn. He got his perfect show and tell thing out of his backpack and went to the front of the room. What do you have to show us today, Sam? Miss Emily asked with a smile. Sam took a deep breath. He looked at his classmates. They were quietly waiting. Sam held up his picture. This is my new dog, he said. I named him Chocolate because that's my favorite kind of cake and he's the color of chocolate cake. Sam didn't faint. He didn't throw up. He didn't cry, and no one laughed. Instead, everyone clapped when he was done. Now everyone in class knew a little bit more about Sam. Next time, he thought, I'll bring my biggest truck. And he did. <laughs>